Right, here we are in uh, Navisworks Manage, not Freedom actually. Um, I'll show you how to, first of all, get your screen to look like this, and then we'll go through the tools uh, next time around. But just because we did a bit of clash detection in Revit, uh, we'll do it in here as a comparison with the same file for now, just, just as a quickie, just to see the uh, difference. So, um, first of all, when you bring Manage um, up, uh, as opposed to Freedom, which is next to it, um, is, and I'm not sure if you all have Freedom on your machines, I think you should have. Um, if not, you can download it. But, what, uh, and there's nothing we can do in, f in, f in Freedom that we can't do in Manage anyway, so even if you haven't got it, we'll just work with Manage, so that's fine. But, uh, let's go on View here, and under View, uh, I usually load a workspace, and I uh, load the extended one, which is everything you can think of. And I'll just turn off uh, a couple that I don't need uh, here for now, and some will just click this pin here, and they disappear off to the side. And uh, the selection tree is one of the uh, most important things here. It's a bit like your browser that you have, uh, your project browser in Revit. So we need that, so we'll pin that over here. The plan view, we don't really need. I can just turn that off. Uh, section view, I don't need that either. But clash detection is what we're gonna do, so make sure that that's there. Um, if we go to, um, oh, where is it? Uh, here, um, clash detective. If I click that, also toggles it on and off as well. All right, so just, that's where you can find it under the home as well. All right, and uh, all the things that have been that are down here minimized, like timeliner, for example, there uh, is actually where I see it. Uh, I thought I saw here. Yeah, I saw it there. So you, you can turn it on and off those tools individually as well. All right. So let's um, uh, open up this Revit file. Uh, you note here by default it goes to NWF here, but uh, you can open up anything NWC, NWDs as well, should be at the top. There it is. And down here, and it's only up until recently, probably I think version 12 didn't, but 13 did, I think, open up um, Revit files directly. Uh, before that, uh, I think it's, where is it? Down here. Uh, before that, you had to save your Revit file out to IFC, which is one of the things I showed you how to do in your project to be able to communicate with this program. Uh, because uh, Navisworks was n was bought by Autodesk, so initially these people, when they designed it, they didn't think of Revit. But now that it's been bought by Autodesk, they made sure you can open up Revit files straight off. Uh, MicroStation files as well, Pro Engineer, all that sort of stuff. All right, so let's go with uh, Revit. Seeing that's a Revit file, I want to open up. Let me just navigate to um, the old drive where this file is. Uh, you might have it on your USB, as I said. Um, and let's go with the Navisworks Manage uh, Clash Detection. Here's my house. Open it up. See what we get. It's taking a little while to load it in. Uh, just um, oh, it's only three point two percent. Okay. Um, well, because it's taking a long time to load in. Uh, normally, what would the process that normally happen is that uh, you go to your Revit and you actually would export this drawing out to Navisworks format before you open it up in Navisworks. That way, it's a lot quicker. And and generally, it's under the add-ins, and you might not have this. But you can actually download the uh, Navis under the external tools, Navisworks 2014 um, adding, and uh, also you know, there's a couple others on here that I've downloaded for glue and other things like that. Yeah. So, uh, but if you haven't got it, don't worry about it. Uh, you can still open it up as I showed you before. But obviously, there are tools if you're in an office working on like this all day. You don't want to be waiting for it to load up and finally, finally came up and that's what it looks like. Um, shift key, middle mouse button again, you can pivot around this thing, no worries. Um, all right, so let's uh, look at the clash detection here. Uh, we've got a house, we can expand out our little browser tree here, hopefully, oh, what's going on here? Uh, there are, oh, currently no clash uh, test defined, so we've got to add a test um, just call it test one, that's fine. And um, I'll just uh, move this up a bit. So it needs to have a, a test, so you've got to add a test. Uh, let's, you go. So extend this out a bit. 
So what did we do? We did um, walls and columns or something. So this is coming here. It looks a bit different in here. Um, so you know, some things are coming looking differently. So let's have a look. Ground floor, structural columns, extend that out. Uh, SI checks. Uh, so you can pick a particular SH, SHS, sorry, if you want to just check one thing against another thing. But you probably wouldn't want to do that. You just want to go up a level and look at uh, all the columns, not necessarily just the SHS ones, but I've only got SHS anyway. But I look at all the columns against all the walls. Uh, so under the ground floor plan, we'll have walls. So I just tick that. Um, it can be any wall. It can, oh, it's got the basic walls in here. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's got all the different ones. So if I, if I pick that, then it'll get all the walls. All right, so if I just do this down a bit, and there's a hard test we're doing, and it's to the nearest one millimeter of the tolerance here. So I'll run the test, see what I get. What do I get? Uh, let's see, uh, results. Um, something status, where is it? Found. Okay, so that's there's nothing here, you know. Uh, so I'm not sure what why there's no clash here. It could be because of the tolerance. So we we'll just go back and see. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, we have, we've got surfaces, lines, points, uh, self intersect. Um, use current selection. What else have we got? Yeah, I think that's um, so you can you can pick a few of those and see. Run and test again and see. Okay, there we go. So it's just a method of it. Um, you know, different methods of like you found them now. So like you can go here. He highlights them. Uh, if I go to take it back a bit. All right, so here we go. Make this a bit smaller. This one's a bit easier to see where the problem is. It really highlights it for you. There you go. And now self-intersecting that I picked before um, was probably not the right thing to do because it actually will pick a wall with a wall. But I'm not sure why it didn't work the first time. That should have worked. All right, so it's just finding these clashes and you can just you know, look at them and say, well, they're valid or they're, they're not, I suppose, and then assign those to other people. We'll look at that a bit later on, and people to look at it, you know, so. Uh, have a look and see if you can do that. Let's see if I, um, I'll just show you one more time here, under the clash. Sorry, I've got the wrong one. Um, back to the rules. Um, here. Mm -hmm. All right, so if I just take that off and if I just run the test again I've got the same amount some are see how they've got a different colors as well uh, yeah so I think that means it's been found before or I can't quite remember now I have to check that out, that out see that camera takes us to where it is sure they'll do with the camera you can actually take a um, well, you can take a picture of it as in you can create a view viewpoint. Has it done it? Maybe not. No. Alright, we'll check that out later. But just wanted you to have a look at um you know first of all you create a, a new rule uh and then um just go to the tree and select uh the columns under the ground floor plan which was <coughs> here on the walls. See what we get. Actually, there should be uh, one that we found before was the doors and windows, wasn't it? Uh, as well, we found one. Um, for on that test, there was an issue which doesn't seem to be coming up now. But anyway, there is a window and a door that clash near the laundry. Yeah, uh, around there, in fact. 
All right, so um, I'll leave that there for now, just show you the basics and we'll explore it a bit more uh, later on.